Hello, my name is Kelly Pippin with the Center for Digital Strategies at Tuck School of Business at Dartmouth College. I am very pleased to welcome Gear Ramleth, the CIO of Bechtel, who is joining us today as part of the Brit Technology Impact Series and who is also here for the 10th year anniversary of our roundtable. Welcome to Tuck Gear and thank, thank you for you. being here. Thank you. You have a history of wanting to deconstruct IT orthodoxy and rethink processes to boost efficiency. Is cloud a technology that helps you reshape IT into a more nimble operation? I, th I think the cloud, cloud approach definitely can do so. Um, it, it takes some of the mystique out of the whole IT environment so that you have to do less of the, the plumbing mm -hmm. and, and more of actually the, the real value added to, to corporations or to the business processes that, that you really want to support in all of this. I also think it, it helps us open up. It, it opens up the enterprises in such a way that you can work with other companies, uh, if they are partners, vendors, customers, in a totally different way than we can do when you have more of an internal approach where everything is kind of run by the corporation for the corporation. I think the cloud opens up that and it, it frees everybody to do uh, what maybe the, the more extended business environments should be doing for us. Mm. That's a good point. Um, what do you see as the chief benefits of cloud computing and maybe the chief risks too? The chief benefit is probably that um, you, you're gaining time. Uh, you, 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 you can start doing what you should be doing faster than otherwise. Uh, you don't have to build a whole bunch of things before you actually can start seeing the benefit from it. The other one is that you probably also can do a little bit more trial and error, so you can try stuff before you actually have done a large uh, investment uh, into your uh, solution uh, and so on. The risk, um, the, the, the first risk is just people's expect, uh, acceptance of it, uh, that people don't accept it. They, they will fight it. Uh, they will fight it be, maybe for the wrong reasons. They will not fight it uh, for what it can benefit you. They, it's, it's kind of like a half, half empty, half full kind of a scenario. Um, the other risk is that we, uh, we have to be sure that the service providers that are coming up helping us with these various forms of, of cloud offerings are serious, uh, that they, they are not uh, flyby uh, vendors and, and, and providers that, that uh, don't give us that longevity of our service offerings that enterprises often uh, need. You know, we, uh, at enterprises, we, we have a much longer tail than the interests of some of the, the service providers, and therefore, that they then stay with it, and they don't create uh, unexpected uh, complexities for us in the future. Uh, that probably a, a, a another thing that, that also uh, increases the risk in it, and that is the uh, the uh, management around the information, who owns the information, who has the right to use the information. Uh, and, and that can normally be solved through your, your, your legal arrangement with people, but, but uh, that side I think is still uh, quite uh, immature. Okay, thank you. Um, are there areas in the enterprise where cloud isn't appropriate? Well, back to the information side, uh, I think there are areas where co corporations have information that, that they want to control mm -hmm. uh, or, and they want to keep uh, uh, secure, uh, not, not secure from a, from a technical standpoint, but from a, from a where location secure. Um, we have that internally. We have stuff that we, by policy and by, by uh, legal arrangements, can actually not move off Bechtel uh, uh, premises. And therefore, we uh, cloud. Well, it could be maybe in a private cloud, and then it still is on Bechtel uh, premises. But it, it it has some kind of a, a, a tricky scenario for that kind of stuff. You have pushed IT at Bechtel to be a more service-oriented function. Are there any dream services you would like to offer that might harness cloud? I think there probably are some that we haven't seen come in yet, and um, and. Uh, because we are a project-based company, um, there have been some attempts on, on uh, building collaboration. Um, but that collaboration level that we've seen of cloud services so far have probably been uh, on, on the very immature side or uh, on the simple side, um, looking for more complex 
or, or comprehensive is probably a better word, of our uh, collaboration as that comes to uh, uh, the, the total combination of uh, voice, video, and, and data. Uh, I think that uh, that yet has to, to see uh, having material impact on our uh, corporations. Okay. Thank you. The, um, there appears to be some hype surrounding the reach of cloud. Assuming that the adoption continues, how will the role of IT change in the future? Well, as we see the, the enterprise adopting more into the cloud, um, I think the roles of IT will change dramatically. I think what we will see is that we will do less of the plumbing mm -hmm. and more of the services. And uh, those services, uh, I kind of believe, will be both self-performed as well as, as uh, performed by a service provider. So, so the role of IT uh, some part of it will be, will be more of an aggregator of services than actually a creator of those services. And um, uh, it will be interesting because what we're seeing is that uh, you should be able to get actually the, a greater portion of your IT resources closer to where it matters, uh, meaning that uh, if you take a, uh, your IT staff, more of those people will interact with actually the people using the technology rather than building the technology. There are services such as virtual private clouds that allow enterprises to add their own security measures to otherwise public clouds. Will these be sufficient to limit risks of data breaches? I don't think it's the end destination, um, but it definitely helps us in the shorter term uh, that we can uh, wrap our uh, security policies and our approaches uh, against uh, third parties and link them into your own uh, definitely has a, a lot of meaning. Um, where we see it really uh, plays a, a big role is for uh, peak loading. You need to add some capacity for a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, you can kind of adopt uh, somebody else, uh, else's uh, technology and, and, and adopt that in and, and, and uh, take that with you uh, as, as your own resources for whatever processing that you need to do. Um, I, um, I think it also has, uh, uh, back to what we talked about earlier, about speed. Uh, I think it can also help you get resources from other uh, re uh, providers in a much quicker way than you could otherwise do because you can just apply the policies and get going literally in minutes. It's exciting. It's, it's exciting. very exciting. It's very exciting. It's very cool. Well, this has been Kelly Pippin for the Center for Digital Strategies. I'd like to thank you for being here, Gear. Thank you.